Dear ladies and gentlemen, good uh, afternoon, good evening, or good morning, depending on the time zone where you are living in. I'm Dominic Platner, the ITTF HP manager, and I would like to warmly welcome all of you to our webinar number 51 with the topic Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games experiences, emotions, and anecdotes. And uh, we saw some really great matches there in Tokyo, and uh, now we are very much looking forward to hear from our panelists of today uh, how their experiences, emotions, and of course also feelings were, you know, and uh, maybe they can also tell us some anecdotes. But before going over to the introduction of our panelists, um, I would like to uh, let you know about the webinar code for the Q&A. To all the attendees, please leave your questions in the question and answer section. And our panelists, they will try to answer as many as possible in the Q&A part of the webinar later on. Thank you very much for taking care of this. And uh, now it's time to go over to the introduction of our panelists of today. And I would like to start with uh, Ms. Feng Tianwei from Singapore. She is the world champion in the women's team in 2010 and, the, and was twice a runner-up. A runner-up in the women's team at the Olympic Games 2008, bronze medalist in women's singles and team at the Olympic Games 2012. A multiple semi-finalist in women's doubles at the World Championships, multiple third places at the Women's Singles World Cup, twice runner-up at the Women's World Team Cup in 2009 and 2010, winner in the Women's Singles at the Asian Cup 2015, the winner in the Women's Singles and Team at the Commonwealth Games 2010, and a Pro Tour and World Tour Grand Finals winner in the women's singles and doubles. And there are a lot more on the list of, of her big achievements. But now I would like uh, to say hello and welcome Ms. Feng Tianwei. Hello, hello. I'm Feng Tianwei from Singapore. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Thank you very much. And now over to Mr. Darko Jorgic from Slovenia. He was the quarterfinalist in the men's singles at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. He was the runner-up at the 2020 ITTF Europe Top 16, bronze medalist at the 2017 European Team Championships, the winner of the German First Bundesliga 2020, and the European Under-21 and Youth Champion in the men's doubles. Hello and welcome, Dako. Hello, everybody. Thank you for being with you here and to share some nice experience from Tokyo. Thank you very much. And hello, Dako. And uh, yes, I would like now also to uh, introduce you to my dear colleague, our ITTF HP Elite Coach Massimo Constantini. And I would like to pass the word to you and to let you kick off the interaction. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dominique. Uh, and uh, of course, thank you very much, uh, Fontian Wei from Singapore and Darko Jorgic from uh, Slovenia, actually, is in Saarbrück and now. And uh, Fontian Wei, I can see, is uh, traveling somewhere in, uh, in the car. So today, guys, we have, uh, we have really two great protagonists uh, of, the, of the world table tennis scene, and uh, they are really champions. So we are really, really happy and honored to have you here. And uh, I hope it will be a nice chat with you. And uh, actually, we have prepared uh, several questions for you. We have divided in different uh, different areas. So without uh, uh, wasting more time, I would start immediately uh, with, uh, with Fen Tian Wei. Uh, um, how are you, Fen Tian Wei? How are you doing? Did you, did you take some time off uh, after Tokyo Olympics or maybe never stop, always training, ready for competition. Uh, uh, 
呃，因为奥运呃备战的时期比较长，然后一直也没有休息过，然后奥运结束这段时间自己是用来休息调整，然后呃准备再一次重新出发，嗯。Okay. Uh, can we say that uh, it has been a long and uh, lengthy preparation for Olympics because partly it was also extended for one year. So after Olympics, uh, she would like to take this opportunity to have a really good rest and prepare for the next season. Great. Very well uh, deserved rest. And how about you, Darko? If you got some uh, some time off, I hope I hope so because uh, Olympics was really really. Uh, great time uh, you have there. So uh, have you got some rest? Uh, have you recharged yourself for the for the next uh, uh, commitments? Yeah, I mean, I hope so. Uh, I just arrived from the <laughs> yesterday. Uh, I feel like full energy. I had seven days off. Today I started with my first session again. Uh, Bundesliga is starting soon, so I have to prepare good. And yeah, I'm just happy to be back on the table. And yeah, of course, it was nice to be on the holidays after such a long way of practices before the Tokyo. Yeah, yeah, it's great, great, great. So back in action as soon as possible. Uh, as we said, uh, we have uh, several questions for you. Me and Dominic, we are going to exchange uh, the, the, the ball side to side, like in, uh, in the perfect uh, ping pong style. And, uh, and then at the end also we will have a question and answer from, uh, from our uh, attendees. So I have done my first two questions. So um, give back the ball to Dominic. Dominic, back to you. Thank you very much, Massimo. And uh, yeah, um, I would also like, of course, to introduce you to Eddie Tay from the Singapore Table Tennis Association, um, which is uh, who is today so kind to translate uh, for Miss Feng Tianwei. So also big welcome to you and thank you very much, Eddie, that you are here with us today. Hello, thank you. I will thank try you, my best. Eddie, <laughs> Yeah, and uh, now uh, it's time for the third question, and uh, it's again for Ms. Feng Tianwei. And um, uh, when will you start your preparation for the now the next coming season, and uh, with which competition are you planning to kick off the new season? Well,就是呃，你其实开始准备下个赛季的比赛，然后你首先的第一个比赛会是哪一个呢？ 嗯，我因为呃留在日本是参加日本的踢联赛，然后九月份的比赛，我应该是下个星期就开始准备备战到比赛当中了。Okay, uh, from next week onwards, she will start uh preparing for the Japan T League because uh she has actually stayed back after Tokyo Olympics to play in the Japan T League. Yeah, so the competition is expected to start in September. So You'll be starting training next week, yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you for the answer. And uh, we wish you now the, a nice, um, yeah, free rest of the week. And uh, all the best then for the Japanese League. And yes, now I would like uh, to ask Dako a question. Dako, um, with the German Bundesliga around the corner and also the European Championships, how are you recovering from the Olympics and how are you preparing for this uh, important part of the new season? Yeah, like I said before, it was a, a long preparation before Tokyo. Uh, and yeah, now I'm, like I said before, full of energy. I take some days off, some days off of the racket. I didn't touch and yeah, it helped me a lot for my head. So today I started with my first session. Monday we have first match in Bundesliga and uh, like I said before, I have to practice now. And uh, yeah, I'm just happy to be back on the table. Uh, I mean, uh, after two, two, two weeks break, I would say, uh, it's always nice to be back. And uh, you, if you love this sport, of course, you just want to practice again and uh, to give again full of uh, motivation on practicing. Thank you very much, Dako, for your answer. And uh, yeah, we wish you all the best uh, for the for the start of your practices, of course. 
and also for the first uh, Bundesliga matches then. Thank you. And uh, now I would like to pass the ball back to Massimo, to Budapest. Yeah, well, well, from Budapest, thank you very much, Dominic. Uh, uh, we move straight to, to the Olympics. Now it's time, guys, to share some, uh, some feelings, some emotions uh, of what you have, uh, you have done there. So I, I would start with the uh, Feng Tian Wei. Um, 2008 was your uh, first uh, Olympic Games uh, in uh, Beijing, in China, and uh, you got the silver, silver medal in the uh, women's team. And, uh, uh, and then we want to know how was that feeling in that moment, but mainly to know was a sort of a preparation in winning then in 2010 the world title in the teams in Moscow? Just share with us summertime, Feng uh, Tianwei. Uh, okay, that was 2008,你第一次参加奥运会,然后赢得了 一个女团的银牌，当你赢得停银牌时，站在领奖台时，你是有什么的感想？呃，因为奥运会也一直是我的一个梦想嘛，就可能是每一个运动员的梦想，然后当站到领奖台的时候，感觉这一刻自己的
like I said, uh, the first matches is always hard and uh, I was just preparing good with my coach, speaking a lot and I was just calm. That was the goal, uh, how I also reached the quarterfinal. And I, of course, uh, I was fully super happy when I reached already round of 16 and then beating Harimoto. <laughs> it was even uh, more, more happier for me and yeah, it's just amazing feeling. I think uh, regarding Harimoto, we have just Dominic uh, prepare a question for you. So I will uh, I will return uh, the the ball from Budapest to to Austria to Villach uh, to you, Dominic. Just uh, just uh, uh, try to ask more to Dark about that match, uh, Dominic. Yeah, thank you, Massimo. Thank you. Yeah, um, Darko, I mean, uh, I also wanted to ask you something about the match against Alvaro, but you already said uh, something about this. And uh, now, uh, yeah, I would like to talk with you about uh, the, the win against the local hero, Tomokasu Harimoto. Uh, what, what were the, the feelings in the winning moment and, and what do you think was the key of, of winning against him? Uh, yeah, uh, first match I played against him was 2017 in Czech Open. I lost 0-4 with no so much chances to win a set or something. And yeah, that's why I was preparing uh, quite better with my coach, speaking a lot about this match, uh, what he's playing good, what he don't like to play actually. And uh, yeah, uh, I was just calm, I would say, in this match. Uh, I didn't show so many nervous moments uh, uh, many people said how you survived uh, his screaming but yeah i was just prepared for this i was calm all the time thinking about the points how to win the points and that was the goal how to beat uh, harimoto in this moment i i thought maybe it will be hard match from the beginning but yeah, uh, it could be also 4-0 for me. Uh, but on the end, I was also happy with 4-3, 11-7 last set. Uh, in <laughs> this quarter <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and of course, That's again, this <laughs> And uh, yeah, and, but what, what were your, let's say, feelings? So what did you think in the, really after the match ball? You still have it in mind or not really at the moment? Uh, of course, I have this moment, last moment, last point when I won. Uh, it was amazing feeling, uh, of course. Uh, uh, when I was a kid, I was dreaming to play Olympics. And then my first Olympics to became already in quarterfinal. It was just amazing. Uh, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, I was uh, playing quite good tactical. Uh, I felt amazing on the table. Uh, everything what I tried was on the table somehow. Uh, with back and I did a lot of big shots, uh, big uh, rallies. Uh, I think he didn't expect so much uh, this. Many times uh, he didn't catch the ball also. And yeah, uh, it was just an amazing match and I would say one of the best matches in my career. Great, great. Thank you, Dako. And uh, now over to Miss Feng Tianwei. And uh, I would like to talk now with you about uh, your performance. And uh, after a very solid performance, you, you lost in the round of 16 to the Germany's defensive specialist uh, Han Ying. Uh, were you concerned or too confident at the eve uh, of the match?就是你在赛前之前是否有些紧张还是可能太过自信呢 嗯，突破这一关吧，所以也希望自己能够在后面以后的比赛当中突破我这个一直都没有解决的这个这个打法吧。嗯。Okay, uh, Tingwei said that uh, it's actually very normal that she has lost to Hani based on her the past track record, and it hasn't been her strengths uh in playing against Chopper. 
So, uh, although she felt that she has improved uh, in playing against Chopper, but uh, there's, she still need a breakthrough, I would say, against uh, the top Choppers in the world. Yeah, so she hopes that uh, maybe after more training in, in future, she will have this breakthrough. So, as I can hear, she didn't really expect uh, to, to have a chance, right?乐他就是觉得你是不是觉得你赢的胜算很低对韩宁嗯其实没有很低我觉得赛前也没有考虑有胜算是多少的问题嗯只是说我相对上下风一点但我觉得还是有沾上他的可能性所以说主要还是说在
Thank you. <laughs> well, definitely, definitely was a very uh, unusual, unusual Olympics, and we hope that uh, it will be the first and last in this way. So <laughs> we hope that uh, we will be back uh, uh, in the normal situation. And how about you, Doc? For you, was uh, was new because it was the first Olympics, uh, and then okay, the, the 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 spirit must have been a bit uh, a bit different. Uh, but nevertheless, I, I I have to say that watching the competition, the, the quality overall of the, the 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 table tennis was really really high. I see I see one of the highest quality ever in the in the in the technical point of view, tactical and technical point of view. So how how was, how was for you uh, that? Yeah, for me it was uh, I would say one normal tournament. I'm not used to to this Olympic uh, <laughs> spirit uh, at all. So yeah, I'm just looking forward to see how it will be in Paris that I see this uh, Olympic spirit, uh, hope without these strictures and everything. And yeah, but uh, of course it's uh, sad to play uh, without spectators. I don't know if it would be better for me to play with full hall of uh, Japanese against Harimoto or uh, zero fans uh, okay. there, I don't know. But like this, I will accept uh, how it was now in Tokyo and uh, yeah but uh, I mean uh, yeah we are used to already to play in these strictures uh, we play uh, Bundesliga a lot without without fans with uh, almost one and a half year everything same so it's good that we are a little bit used to that not something new for us and uh, I'm just looking forward to see the fans as soon as possible back and uh, to cheering against uh, against us again for for us and for everybody i see yes thank you dominic i i keep one one more seconds the the question because normally i have to give to you but I, but how was the feeling in the uh, start again with fentian way how was the feeling in the village the village was something something you know with all the other sports all the other colleagues uh, the other champions uh, from other sports uh, just quickly share with us that that feeling uh, friend yang wei and darko again okay le jiushi ta jiushi shuo e jiushi jiao ni fenxiang yi xia zai xuan shou chun li mian de de gan gan xiang wu he gan jue shi zhe yang 嗯，因为大家在选手村里面也都是戴着口罩，所以说，嗯，也可能碰到自己喜欢的一些体育明星，但是还是会顾忌的保持一些社交距离，没有主动的去要求合影或拍照，所以说，嗯，感觉上这个方面还是有跟以往有一点不同。其他的，其实在，嗯。其他方面还是在尽可能的，日本方面在尽可能的，还是给我们提供一些能消遣的一些娱乐的活动，我觉得还不错吧。嗯。Okay, uh, she said that because uh everyone uh wearing mask uh is wearing mask inside the village, so even though that uh she has met some superstars in other sports. <laughs> Yeah, actually wanted to go up and ask for some uh, photograph, but because of the pandemic, so she didn't really go to. Yeah, so that's why uh, she's a little bit uh, disappointed because of, yeah, she's also afraid that she might get rejected for asking. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> and, and in terms of the organizer, actually the Japanese have tried their best to provide some uh, activities, some leisure activities for them in the village. I think they have tried their best uh, within uh, during this pandemic. I would say. Yeah. Yes. Good. Good. Yes. Yes. Of course, mask was uh, was one of the restrictions we were talking about. How about you, Darko? Had yeah, good interaction there. Uh, yeah. Of course, it's amazing feeling uh, to see such a stars around you. Uh, we had the uh, amazing opportunity to, to be in the same team with Luka Doncic, one of the best players in NBA right now in basketball. Uh, yeah, we talked also with him a few words and yeah, it's just amazing to be with them, to see this uh, amazing and uh, like fan, I am fan of some amazing uh, players and then you see them there, it's just uh, amazing feeling. But uh, actually, Slovenian team, we were quite close, closed in the in the room. We didn't move so much. We were quite 
I would say uh, scared of Corona, and uh, that's why we we didn't uh, uh, share so many moments with other players. But uh, of course, it's just amazing to be with uh, stars around you. Yeah, I can I can understand. I can understand. Okay, now now I can pass back to 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 Dominic. Dominic has something else for you guys. Thank you very much, Massimo. And yeah, I would uh, like to start with Miss Feng Tianwei. And uh, as we heard before, you have really so many great achievements in your career. And you have won several medals uh, in the Olympic Games, uh, silver in Beijing, or the two bronze uh, medals in, in London in uh, 2012. Is there anyone with a particular meaning for you? And also, of course, not forgetting your, your world championship title in uh, 2010. <laughs> 我觉得还是零八年的第一个奥运奖牌，应该是我实现梦想的，真的是感觉那一刻梦想的实现，就还是零八年，我觉得是。She felt that uh is two o eight uh silver medal because she felt that that was the one that she felt she achieved her lifelong dream. And uh, this one was her first Olympics, right? In two thousand eight, yes. no? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so a real great moment and immediately an, a medal at the first Olympics. Congratulations. Very strong. Uh, Fentian Wei, Fentian Wei, where do you, where do you keep the, the medals? You keep the medals always with you, like in the in the bag, you have uh, some sort of... <laughs> where, where are the medals? You always visible... <laughs> 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 放到, 放到家里面的保险箱里面. <laughs> he actually stored the medal in a safety box. <laughs> safety deposit box. Very wise, very wise. Okay, sorry, Dominic, go ahead. <laughs> Good question, Max. Good question. Thank you, Miss Feng Tianwei. And uh, now I would like to to before going over to Darko, I would like to remind uh, all our attendees, uh, please uh, really feel free to leave all your questions in the question and answer uh, section. And then later in the question and answer part of the webinar, um, we will try to answer as many as possible. And now back to you, Darko. And uh, we are really curious about this now, about your answer. Uh, and uh, can you please share with us one anecdote from Tokyo which you will never forget in your life? Oh, actually, it was many. Uh, it was many. Uh, we had. Uh, I had a luck. I would say that uh, I had uh, my team with. Uh, we shared a lot of uh, nice moments together, and so many anecdotes there. But. Uh, it's hard to share right now all uh, <laughs> and also i don't want to share some but actually i will never forget just tokyo about uh, quarterfinal and winning against harimoto this last point i will never forget and uh, this was amazing uh, feeling for me and i think this i will never forget in my life okay thank you very much Darko. And uh, Miss Feng Tianwei, we would also like to know if you can maybe share with us one of your anecdotes from uh, from Tokyo, if there is any. Mm,其实就是还是。记忆最深刻应该还是零八年的那个奥运会吧然后我记得跟韩国的时候最后一个球队方发球失误了那个瞬间我觉得是自己真的是终身难忘的就是没想到会有对就是特别的一个惊喜所以这次奥运会就没有
这一次没有特别深刻的记忆，嗯。Yeah, she felt that uh this Olympics uh she don't have any. So uh what uh what is uh, most memorable for her was uh two o eight Olympics, when uh the the final point when she was playing against uh Park Mi Young, the Korean chopper during the semi finals. So uh the Park Mi Young actually was in the expedite system, and actually during the match point. Park Mi Young actually do a service error, so she, she felt that she couldn't believe it at that moment, and they won the silver medal. Okay, okay. So that was, let's say at the Olympic or her Olympics, the 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 most uh, memorable moment, right? From all the Olympics. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. And uh, now it's time for some advices, Massimo. Right? I will pass the ball back yeah. to you. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, well, Olympics doesn't doesn't stop there. Uh, we we now because out there in the with the, our attendees and later on also on the on the YouTube, uh, there are people they they would love to hear from you some uh, advice after your great experience. We start again with the uh, Fantian Way. After your great experience uh, for Olympic Games, a lot of competition, world championships, uh, experience to sell, I would say, you know. So what, what kind of advice would you give uh, uh, to people out there for our passionate or young players or any kind of players is out there? What kind of advice you would, you would give? 那就是你参加了这么多次的奥运会，还有这么多的比赛，你有什么呃，给给现任的球员一些什么的样的建议？嗯，我的建议是大家，嗯，要相信自己可以实现自己的梦想吧，然后，嗯，尽量去努力去去享受这个训练和比赛的过程。对于结果其实没有那么重要，主要是享受过程比较重要。嗯。Okay. So, uh, her advice is that you need to believe in yourself that you can actually achieve your dream, and you also need to work hard and enjoy the process of uh training and competition. She felt that the process uh is more important than the end goal. Yeah, that's all. So dream, dream and work together. Dream something, something great, and work hard to to reach uh, your goals. Very, very yes. good. Very, very good. Thank you, thank you, Fantian Wei. Uh, also, Darko, you you have something to say for our, our friends out there, right? So, what, I mean, what would I, you say? Come I on, have, uh, I, have, I have seen. Huh? You have to believe. You have to believe in yourself. Uh, you have to practice hard uh, on the table, out of the table, uh, every time. Dreaming about, thinking about the table tennis, not just about table tennis, also about other things. Doesn't matter in which sport you are, uh, and after everything is possible. Uh, uh, just give full power, full motivation for everything, and yeah. The result can come. You never know when. You never know how. But you somehow result can come one day. Absolutely. So no, no, no matter actually what age you are, right? So this principle works for any any age. I mean, even uh, very very young, uh, very young uh, uh, players, kids. You were young. We all were young. So. It's important to learn uh, uh, this simple, maybe I would say, uh, rule so that uh, that to believe uh, in yourself. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, both of you, for uh, for this uh, this uh, important uh, uh, advice. And uh, I think uh, we have uh, we have pretty much concluded. Quite well, we have more questions, of course, but. Uh, uh, maybe we can move the, uh, Dominic to uh, some uh, prior um, webinar questions. We have received something, so I would give the the opportunity to you, Dominic. So go ahead.
We have a problem with Dominic. Dominic, you are not there. Yes, I am <laughs> again now. Ah, you, you, you disappear for a, for a moment. So I am returning the ball to you for the questions from our friends. Thank you very much, Massimo. And uh, yes, and uh, the first uh, prior webinar question is uh, for both of you. But I would like to start with Ms. Feng Tianwei. And the question is from, uh, um, yes, from Singapore, from a member of the Junior Development Squad. It's uh, Ying He Chan. And uh, Ying He Chan would like to know, um, how do you mentally prepare for such an important tournament like the Olympics? Okay. Le 磨练你的技术呃，用他的这种对乒乓球的热情，为新加坡再争夺更多的荣誉。Okay, okay. So, uh, Timmy's answer is, uh, Olympic itself is just, uh, not about just the competition. It's actually a four-year, or like this time is a five-year preparation. So during these five years, um, there's training, technical training, of course, there's uh, mental training and strength conditioning and a lot of other sports science training. So during these five years, uh, you need to work hard, you need to persevere, solve the problems, uh, whether is it uh, technically or be it, uh, sports science or strength conditioning. So then you also need to solve uh, on the problems and build on your strengths. So can we also hope that uh, this this person who asked uh, this player who asked the question hope that uh, she can use her passion and continue to can bring honors to Singapore in the future. Yeah. Okay. That's all. Good. Good. Okay. Very good. good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, uh, sounds really professional. And and uh, you you know what you are doing. So yeah, please uh, all out there. Take this advice and uh, work hard also on all the other parts uh, of your performance, not just the technical and tactical parts. Thank you. And uh, now, what about you, Dako? Uh, how do you mentally prepare, or how did you mentally prepare for this uh, Olympic Games? Uh, yeah, actually, before the tournament, I was very nervous, I would say. Uh, I wanted to show my best game, how I can play actually and uh, I was just nervous if I will show this. I spoke to, with my coach a lot, uh, watching some videos uh, about other players, uh, watching some videos when I was playing good to, to give my shape even better and uh, yeah, that was the key also how I gave my uh, motivation on high level. Okay, so a lot of uh, visualization, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much to both of you for your answers, and uh, I pass the ball to Massimo for the next question. Yes. Next question. Thank you very much. Uh, great answers, actually. Well, of course, they are champions, and then uh, it's uh, it's absolutely fantastic what they said. The next question coming coming from Philippine Paul Jerome Puentespina. Uh, this is, uh, is based on your uh, daily regime, let's say, um, for both of you, as usual, we start with uh, our guest from Singapore, Fentian Wei. 
uh, how many hours uh, um, you spend uh, in uh, in uh, in training uh, in a day and uh, for how many days in a week so basically what, what is your uh, your regular uh, schedule in terms of hours and days uh, in one week pentian way and then darko okay Lo,就是你一天训练几个小时,还有一周你训练几天。每天训练大概保持到四个小时到五个小时之间吧。然后每一周训练大概六天左右这样。Okay,都去 okay. trains uh, between four to five hours per day, and she trains uh, six days a week. Oh, well, very good. Very good. Uh, Darko? I also practice four to five hours per day. Depends uh, of the league matches or and the tournaments in the future what I have. But actually, every day twice, only Wednesday, I have one session. Of course, these four and five hours per day, I have also physical preparations twice per week. So, yeah. Uh, but uh, like I said, it depends uh, what I have on the weekend, what what is coming next next tournament, and, and then I am speaking with my coach to to give uh, me some free time also sometimes, and uh, sometimes of course when I don't have also to to give some more gas and to to practice more. I I just want uh, uh, thank you thank you both. I just want to jump uh, on this, you know, for. Uh, uh, this kind of uh, table tennis, uh, modern table tennis, extremely fast, uh, extremely physical, um, and then mental also. Because uh, uh, do you think that uh, this four, four, five hours is the is the best uh, best average time, or maybe maybe shorter time can be also good to to have a good performance, or maybe more more time. For every day, I could six hours, seven hours. Well, what do you think? Is this just uh, um, a, a curiosity that also can uh, can be uh, uh, interesting for our friends outside? So, Fan Tian Wei, do you think uh, this is the average uh, time, perfect, uh, suitable for every player of your caliber, of course? No,就是因为现在这个运动就是非常的快嘛, <laughs> 就对身体的要求跟心理上的要求都比较大你本身觉得这个四五个小时够吗就是给一般可能像你这样的球员足够吗还是需要更多一点嗯我认为在有能力的情况下可以更多一点但是对于我现在的状态来讲四五个小时已
if somebody likes to pl practice less and in more intensity, then it's this good for him. Of course, if you like to practice more to feel good, then you have to practice more. But uh, you have to decide, uh, not alone, of course, with your coaches, with everybody, and to speak a lot and to see what is the best for your your uh, your table tennis career and for, of course, uh, uh, your this uh, in this moment on this tournament, what you need to play on this high level. But of course, in young generations, you have to practice more. I think Asians knows a lot about that. Uh, when you have to practice a lot, when you have to to give a lot of for table tennis and to improve yourself, and then of course, when you are a little bit older, then you give uh, these shorter times and more intensity. <clears throat> perfect, perfect. Wise, wise words coming from these uh, these champions. Thank you very much. Um, I, I think I, I can't keep going because uh, there was something from both of them uh, talking about the strength and conditioning and then we have actually uh, two questions uh, that will combine both uh, from Abdurrahman if, if Saiwan and Darren Rao. Uh, basically they ask uh, what is the, the daily program uh, um, regarding the, the the strength and the conditioning the physical uh, preparation so what uh, what is is important uh, part of the preparation of the player so um, what uh, what do you have to say regarding this is something that uh, has to be done every day or more uh, specific for uh, uh, one uh, uh, body um, or more related with agility, more with the, with the, with power and so on. So, can you share with us your uh, your feeling, your thoughts about the physical uh, condition, strength and conditioning? Always start with the Fentian way. That就是主要这个问题，就是问有关运动员对这个体能训练的重要性啊。可能你可以分享一下你对这个体能训练，包括你自己的。体能训练计划可以可能可以跟大家分享一下。嗯，随着我认为随着乒乓球的发展，这个体能嗯是越来越重要了。它不仅是可以保障你比赛的一个嗯注意力集中，然后主要是还是能够更好的防止伤病。我
you are still in the moment of uh, developing, getting stronger, bigger, or uh, is uh, is uh, almost the same? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, uh, like I said before, I say also here, every player is different. Every player has to decide by yourself. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, many players are skipping agility practices. Uh, I am also one of that. Uh, I also don't like to make so much agility practices, but uh, I have to improve on this side also as well. I think I have a lot of power, uh, but some agility I have to improve. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, working a lot of that that side also right now. And uh, yeah, I hope to improve as soon as possible and uh, to combine power and agility in my game and to improve myself uh, like a table tennis player even more. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, back to Dominic for one last, I guess. Thank you, Massimo. Yeah, uh, one last question for each one of you. And uh, both questions are from Carlos Esnat. Hi, Carlos. And I would like to start with uh, Ms. Feng And uh, what are the differences you find from the technical tactical, physical, and mental points of view from the Beijing Olympic Games to the Tokyo Olympic Games? Okay, uh,那就是说主要跟北京奥运会,就是这两个北京奥运会跟东京奥运会,你觉得从技术上,呃,包括技战术,包括呃,体能方面,生理方面,包括心理方面,你觉得最大的区别有什么? 就是对于你来说了，参加这两个奥运会。嗯，其实我觉得，嗯，零八年的奥运会是我一个比较比较未知的一个奥运会，因为刚刚参加第一次参加奥运会，对奥运会还是一个比较无知的状态。所以这一次
So be prepared for Darko at the 2024 Olympic Games. <laughs> yes, and uh, yeah, um, the time is flying, and I would like uh, to thank uh, dear Miss uh, Feng Tian Wei and dear Darko. Um, and of course, also we, the entire IDTF HPD team, we want to thank you a lot for taking the time to be here with us today and uh, sharing your emotions, your experiences, and, and also some anecdotes. And of course, also a big thanks to you, Mr. Edite from Singapore. So thanks to all of, all of you for being with us here. Thank you very much. Thank you. And, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. And I would also like uh, to thank uh, our audience out there for attending. And we hope our 31 uh, ITT, uh, 31, sorry, 51, of course, ITTF <laughs> HQP Table Tennis at your fingertips webinar was uh, interesting for you. And I'm looking forward to our future webinars uh, for which further information will follow in due time. So stay tuned. That's all from my side uh, for today. Stay safe and healthy, and I pass the word to Budapest, to Massimo, and kindly ask you for your closing words, Massimo. Yeah, well, I join I join the 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 the, the, the thanks uh, to to Fantian Wei, very very kind, really, to be with us, uh, Darko, also in between the the, the sessions with preparation, edit, always kind to share with us some uh, of his time. Well, actually, uh, from from the, the audience uh, point of view, if you remember, we had uh, prior to the Olympic Games, uh, we had uh, one of the greatest uh, uh, champion, you know, Wagner, that the, he spoke about uh, the feeling of the uh, Olympic Games. Uh, but today we had uh, really two uh, two great uh, players two really great champions that they share with us uh, their feeling after the, the the olympic games so again and again great words great great answers from uh, our friends uh, and uh, we we'll hope to see you around the world again and again uh, good luck for uh, uh, all the future uh, uh, commitments that you will have and also from my side uh, from uh, Budapest for now I thank you very much all the audience all the guests uh, Dominic thank you very much and see you soon thank you ciao